everybody. Hi, hello, what's up? I'm coming to you from beyond the grave! Or I would be if you're watching this in 5,000 years from now. Which is possible. I don't know what's gonna happen in 5,000 years from now. Like, you think about now, what happened 5,000 years ago? I don't know, Jesus or something? The dinosaurs? I don't know. But we still talk about those things, don't we? The pyramids, was that 5,000 years ago? We talk about that, we can see it. We're like, wow, pyramids. That's pretty cool, look how big they are. They're really big, you know? I mean, I assume, I've never actually been to see the pyramids, but uh, they look really big when I see them on the TV. So that's something, you know? We have a special offer today on a stunning cube clock. As always, we have a wide variety of other items as well. Oh, why not step by? Why own furniture if you're not gonna use it? I well, I can't use it all. I'm only one man. You know what I mean? So imagine in five thousand years' time what the world would look like. I would say in five thousand years' time the world won't exist. It'll have burned up to a crisp because the sun will have destroyed it, as we in turn will have destroyed the ozone layer, which stops the Earth from destroying us. And uh, we'll all burn out in the blaze of disappointment. I think that's really funny how like naturally, like it's it's unbelievable how the earth is is the way it is. Like it's it's such oh hello. I mean bird treasure, it's bird somewhere in Iker D2. And it's from Mitzi. If you wanna know what it is, find it. D2. Let me see. D2. Okay, that's kinda close. Let's have a look for that first. Do 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 so like the earth is like naturally set up perfectly. You know, we are, we're the right distance away from the sun to get heat. But we also have that ozone layer in place that's perfect. We have oxygen, we have trees, we have everything like, everything you would need to have a perfectly functional society. We have it like bang on perfect. And then humans are like, nope, we gotta ruin it. Nope, 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 not good enough. Yeah, I know you're, you're enjoying yourself, but we need to make money. Did you think of that? Did you think of me making money before you decided to live? I don't think you did. And honestly, that's very selfish of you. So, you're fired. And also, the earth is going to warm up and burn us all to death. But, I got a new Mercedes, so... I dug up a... <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Oh, what? I dug up a super toilet? What? Let me observe this with my oculars real quick. Let me have a look at this. Hey, it is pretty super, man. Look at that. Oh, it's fancy. You'll put that in the basement, I think. A toilet goes in the basement. We all know this. I don't want to have to tell you guys how to live your life. The toilet goes in the basement. Didn't we already have a toilet? Did, we, did, I, did I throw it away? I guess I threw it away. Speaking of throwing it away, let's put this right here. It's a super toilet. Imagine walking down into the basement and then as soon as you walk down the steps, there's just a guy taking a crap in a toilet and he's like, <sighs> cubicles were closed. I couldn't go anywhere else. I had to go right here in your basement. And he flushes the toilet, but then you're like, the toilet, the pipes don't lead anywhere. And he's like, uh-oh. And then he shrugs his shoulders at the camera. And the credits play really quickly. And it fade out. That's the end of it. You guys know what I'm talking about, yeah? And then it's super toilet in the basement. Anyway. Oh, hey, guys. All right, so. Interactive, make your own adventure time. Do you want to hear me continue talking about the super toilet? Or do you want to hear me continue talking about the fact that we're all gonna die because humans have ruined the ozone layer and will destroy the entire earth itself? Vote now in the comments. Ooh, I wonder which one's gonna win. Ooh, I really want this fucking thing. Does a flying saucer interest you? I don't know who it wouldn't interest. That's the coolest fucking... Like, imagine having one of these spinny bad boys in your life. And it actually worked, like, you get into it, and you float around and stuff. 
Like in Metroid, not Metroid, what do you call it, Earthborn? I've been playing Earthborn recently. I had started to play, I played it a while ago on the, what do you call it, the Wii U? And then I got, I roughly halfway through, I think I got to just before the desert. Apparently I got to where it, it says in the game, it says, yeah, things are about to get really difficult, so watch out. So I think that's about where I stopped. And now I'm playing it on the Switch. And I've just got past the place where I was previously. So I've, I'm now the furthest I've ever gotten in Earthbind. And it's really fun. I really like it. It's really quirky and interesting. And I'm thinking about maybe playing on the show for everybody. Maybe, maybe. But we'll see. Again, let me know in the comments if you're interested. Also, let me know in the comments if you're alive and are actually listening to this. Oh, and also, another one. Let me know in the comments if you are watching this from 5,000 years in the future. Because even though I'll be technically dead, I'm sure my skeleton will have lived on because of the curse that was placed on me. So, oh, we gotta go to Billy. Easy. Easy, easy. I forgot to sell my dinosaur bones, so I'm going to do that. Ooh. Right now, take my bones, take them. I mean, it's not a great song, but fine saucer. I should put that in my house, but oh, man, my house is so much crap in it. One day, we're gonna have to clean out the house. It's not gonna be the day, maybe tomorrow. We really gotta like spend some time fucking working on that house. It's disgusting. I'd like to say that I wouldn't live there in real life, but I kind of do, so <laughs> that's an accurate representation of what my house looks like. Super toilet and all, let me tell you. My toilet's pretty fucking super. It's taken a, quite the beating over the years, that's still going. That's a super toilet if ever I just saw one. But anyway, remember, if you want to hear me more talking, if you want to hear more of me talking about the super toilet, leave it in the comments. Oh, hey, Quacky. Why, how are you? Rain just keeps falling. Well, that's true. What a wonderful conversation this has been. Oh, maybe next time I'll push you into the river. I'm gonna push you right into that river. Well, I guess you're a duck, so you'll probably be okay. Probably should have thought that scheme through a little bit better, but you know me and my wacky schemes. I don't have time to plan. Who are you? It's Billy! That's exactly the person I wanted to see. Excellent, excellent. What's new? Ah, I'm picking up. Yes! You, how dare you steal Mitzi's videotape. You, you, off. I didn't even see a VHS player in her house, but I'm sure she has one. She had to hide it because she's like, Billy didn't give me a videotape back. And I think he's coming for the video player. Like that's probably why he didn't give her the tape back, is because he took the tape from, oh, let me borrow your tape. But then realized he didn't have a tape player of his own. So he was like, fuck, well, what do I do? I probably have to steal the tape player off Missy as well. That's a, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing, you know. Check it out in the Alma Crossing novel that's coming out very soon. It looks good all. Oh, I just picked up stationery. Go, oh, Missy. Thank you very much, anyway. I appreciate it. It's KK swinging it. Congratulations. She's got good taste. I guess. Don't know. Anyway, on we go. We're gonna do a little bit of walking. Gotta get your steps up. You know what I mean? You gotta get uh, your reps in. Is that what they say? When you're being healthy and exercise a couple? I don't know. I don't think I've ever been to the exercise house. You know what I'm talking about, the big exercise house. Where all the boys do the exercising. And the girls also do the exercising. But the boys think they're better at the exercising than the girls. I don't know if that's true. Boys always think they're better at everything than the girls. I don't know if that's correct. Oh ho, looking for work, are you? I've been really busy lately and now I'm in a bit of a fix. I need you to take this to Billy. Yes. I can take that to Billy. Billy's a very popular boy today. 
I hope he knows how lucky he is. Let me just look around real quick for fossils before I go looking for Billy again. Because I want to get my fossils out there. Just checking out the time. Have a look. Have a little view. We're... Let's talk to the policeman. I was very close to not saying policeman. I was going to say police... What was I going to say? Police dog? I said policeman, but he is a dog. Hello! Yeah, good evening to you. Damn me how I can obviously keep it being a sister dress by going down. I'll keep him in your plan right time with the frame wanderer wrangler. He is probably be sent wandering around the next time over. I have no reason to die this report. If he is indeed headed for Fink, as I suspect, I would expect him to arrive sometime around the 7th of March. And today's the 4th of March in you know, Elmer Crossing time. So, that's something to think about. Oh! -ho! I knew it. What is that? It's a mega hyloid. It certainly is. That's what that is. I took a look at that and I said, you know what that is? It's a fucking mega uh, hyloid is what it is. Is that what you said? Mega hyloid. Hy hyloid. That was impossible. It's really hard for me to say. Hy hyloid? Hy it doesn't, doesn't even sound like a real English. It just sounds like noise. It's Ricky. Goodbye, Ricky. Where, where were you, Billy? You were up here. I found him. Just hanging out by the old waterfall. That's fine. Look at all the mud. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> hey, look at the mud. Anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? No. Oh, God. Uh, I mean, if you say so. You say you look in that... That's fine. It's all about self-confidence. Oh god, you give me these skanky ass clothes. I don't want your skanky clothes. I don't like the clothes that you have now. And now I get some other fucking thing. What is it? Sharp outfit. Sharp outfit. No. Is it this? One ball shirt. What the fuck did he just give me? Uh, I don't like that. But I don't think I like this either, do I? No, I don't like that either. So let's go back to my snappy print. That's a really good one. I really like this one. I'm very happy with this outfit. I hope everybody else is as happy with my outfit as I But again, it's all about self-confidence, isn't it? If I like my outfit, then gosh dang, the whole world likes my outfit too. Even if they outwardly say they don't like it with words, I'll just ignore it and continue to live my crazy life the way I am currently living it. Where are all the fossils at? What's going on here? Who stole all my fossils? Who took all of my fossils away? Mr. Dino, leave more dead dinos. Yeah, that one didn't work. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh. Hi, what's up? Your face totally mellows me out. You're this kind of anti rent funk mood uplifter upper type person. I mean, that's what they call me in the streets. When I get the guess, it's probably kicking something. Oh, not you. I hate you. You can kick me if you want. But not in the face or the testicles or any of the other parts of me because that would hurt. But other than that, you can kick me all you want. I don't think I've seen a ball around, have I? I don't think so. Oh well. Off we go. Having a good time. Alright. Oh, it's Pelipper. Hello. It's Philly. I need to save a letter. There's a letter I have that's just been bumming around. I need to save. Who is this from? Home. Where was home? Is this home? Yes. X. X. Perfect. And then we're gonna send my one letter. This can't be right. There's gotta be more fossils somewhere. I didn't look in the corner. Maybe we should do that. Well, bye, fellas. Bye, Palaver. 
So tomorrow, I think what we should do is tidy the house. Aha! Oh! I knew it. I knew there got to be more. I want to check over here real quick and then we'll go post that one again. But tomorrow, I think we should tidy the house. I think it's a good idea. Because the house is a pig side, but I also can't be bothered doing it right now. Ooh! Aha! Is that too close to the water, do you think? Probably, but let's bury it anyway. I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Let's see how that works. Oh. I mean, I was just about to, to dig the holes. It really was. And then I thought, eh, it's probably not this one. How many other stones are there? Hit all the other ones. And my pockets are full. Drop it. My dang pockets is full. Full of beans. Oh, I got all these beans in my pocket. What am I come on. gonna look like a fool at the big dance tomorrow with my pockets all full of beans like this? Oh, everybody's gonna laugh at me. They're gonna say, there goes beans. And that's not my name. Hey, I changed it legally to not be beans. Although originally my name was beans, and I find that to be very disheartening. What a name for a child. Hello, my name is Beans. Oh, is it your, is it your real name? Yes. Well, see you. <laughs> you know, nobody ever wants to talk to a kid called Beans. Wasn't that kid in that show called Beans? I'm only thinking of, was it the show with like Shia LaBeouf in it? And then he was like a smart kid and then he had a daughter. No, he didn't have a daughter. <laughs> That'd be weird. Cause he was like 12. He had a sister, and then next door they had a kid that lived next door, as happens. And the kid was called Beans, but nobody liked that kid. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Because <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, all of that's going to sound pretty insane. <laughs> oh, well, don't worry about it. Anyway, what I'm, basically what I'm saying to you is, having the name Beans would be a terrible, terrible curse, I think. Uh, let's deposit some money. We got that 30,000 bells. So let's do that. Two, three. No. Done. Look at that. Look, take my money. Be done in no time at all. Look at that. Don't even tell me how much I still own because I don't want to look at it. I don't, I can't look at it. It'll make me say it. All right, so we gotta go into the house and look for a space to put the UFO. Maybe we should clean our pockets out a little bit. I think that's a good idea. So let's go to the shop actually and sell all the crap we don't want. They have a feeling tomorrow we're gonna be selling an awful lot of crap as well. Now the idea is that you should be able to purchase a lot of the stuff you've already found in Tom Nick's house. You can order it. Tom Nick's house, his shop. You can order stuff through his shop that you've already obtained. So that means you can sell most of the stuff you have if you don't need it. And then you can just buy it again if you want to. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just sell all the crap that I like but I don't have any room for. You know what I mean? Because we need to get a, we need to get a better house and not because of the whatever you call them, the Happy Room Academy. But just because the house is a tip, like we need to make room, you know what I mean? We need, we need space, we need space. All right, so we have a little bit more space. Oh, hang on, I can put this away. Done. And then grab, put that over there. Uh, we got a little bit more space, I think that could work. So what we'll do is we will go and should we put the spaceship in? In the house? Because we're gonna have to fucking change everything tomorrow. Maybe we should just do that. Alright, let's do that. Tomorrow we're gonna tidy the house! It's gonna be the long awaited Animal Crossing edition of House Tidy. We're all very excited. We've been waiting 17 years to see this. And now, wait is over. We're going to get to see me. Tidying up a fictional house inside a fictional land where a lot of animals yell at me 
for not delivering items to somebody called Snooty. It's a terrible time, but don't worry about it, man. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for all the stuff I just mentioned. And more, probably. Maybe, if you're good. And that's it. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>